Welcome back, dancers. Today on the Dance Academy YouTube channel, we're going to take a closer look at one of the dancer's parents. Dancers come from all sorts of backgrounds, some supportive and others not so much. Abigail's mum is definitely the type that we'd call a dance mum. Determined and pushy, but committed to getting Abigail as far as she can in the dance world. Let's take a closer look at Anthea Armstrong. In season one, though we don't meet her, we get hints of Abigail's mum and her dance parent tendencies through Abigail's competitive attitude and strict self-imposed schedule. Wonder if that's something the scholarship committee takes into account. I wonder. Do you know if my name's on the shortlist? It's just I've worked harder than anyone since day one. You have. There are other factors, such as. It wasn't meant to be this way. What way was it meant to be? I know. Like a dream come true. <laughs> it's everybody's dream. No one's going to hand it to you. If you want to stand out, you have to prove that you're special. It was the finals of the National Junior Ballet at Stedford. I danced perfectly. The adjudicator read out the results. Fourth, third, second. And then Mum just started squealing because we knew I'd won. <laughs> the thing about being at the bottom is there's nowhere else to go but up. After a while at the academy, Abigail's little sister Paige comes to visit and we get to learn a lot more about her family and especially Abigail's mum's priorities. Mum's trying to use her plane. Dad would freak if she did. Thing? Anyway, it's cool I've gone away for the weekends. We get to hang out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's this really good Pilates class on tomorrow morning. It's at 7. Do you want to come? Do we have to? So I booked the studio for us. Be good for you to practice for your audition. I don't want to be a dancer anymore. What? You've always wanted to be a dancer. I want to be a rhythmic gymnast instead. All right, you want to come to the studio and stretch with me? I'm hungry. You'll never be a gymnast if you don't stretch. Did I say gymnast? Oh yeah, I'm a journalist. They don't stretch. Making a complete fool of yourself. I'm just trying to have a good holiday. Why do you have to be so annoying? Okay, you know what? Um, we're gonna meet you back at the academy. Okay, yeah. I've put a lot of time I don't have into planning this weekend. You've completely ruined it. Big deal. You've ruined my whole life. We can't go on holidays because Abigail has a concert. No chocolate ice cream in the freezer because Abigail's on a diet. Like anyone needs chocolate ice cream. Mum moved off to Sydney to be near you and you never even visit. I'm at the National Academy of Dance. I have classes every day. Well, why is it always about you? Because you're not special. You're just a little girl, overtired, overstimulated and chock full of preservatives. Yeah, well, just as long as I'm not like you. It seems that her mum's focus and devotion to Abigail's dance career has left her marriage in trouble and even causes tension between Abigail and her sister. Seriously? Do I have to? I thought she had school. What? How could she do this to me? She knows auditions are tomorrow. Where's Sammy? He's busy. We all are. Sit down. But we will see him tonight. No, we won't. Why? Because. Because why? Because we broke up. What did you do? Excuse me? I'm not discussing this with you. It's so unfair, everyone's breaking up. Everyone in the whole wide world. Mum and Dad are. Paige, it's not funny. Yeah, and it's all your fault. You must have misunderstood. They fight on the phone and Dad hasn't been down to visit us for ages. Paige, that's not the same thing as breaking up. 
push. Harder. Ouch, careful. All you care about is ballet. What do you want me to do, Paige? Lock them up in a room and not let them out until they promise to stay together? No, Abigail, I want you to help. I have to live there and you don't do anything except make it worse. Meaning? I'm not the reason Mum moved down here. Dad's back home and he misses I didn't us. ask anyone to do that. Abigail, you have to talk to them. No, I have to rehearse. If they're splitting up because of me, may as well make it worthwhile. Play. So they don't know you know. But you could come home and talk to them about it. Tell them how we feel. Hey, Mum. Yep. We're at the front. Page is ready. Well, they said they're not giving solos to first years. But I'm doing everything I can to change that. Yep. Yeah. I know. Well, it's not like the competition stands a chance. OK. I got the snowflake solo. <laughs> I know. It's so technically demanding. It, hey, listen. Do you think I could come over tonight? Paige and I really need to talk to you about something. I call and call and you never pick up. I've had rehearsals. I'm understudying Clara and I got the snowflake solo. That's great, Abigail. Your mum rang. She told me what's happening at home. Having your parents separate is a pretty tough thing for anyone. Look, Adam, I'm not sitting on the couch right now and this has nothing to do with eating, so I don't really see how this fits your job description. Sometimes when students see their parents making sacrifices for them to attend the academy, they can blame themselves when things start to go wrong at home. Look, can we skip the psychobabble? Mum left Dad behind in Brisbane so that she could support my dancing. Now they're separating because of the distance. It all seems pretty cause and effect to me. We done? I've got rehearsals. In season two, we finally get to meet the dance mom herself. But by now, Abigail has been living away for some time and she has started to develop interests and goals outside of the dance world and outside of her and her mother's childhood plans for her. Knowing this and not wanting to disappoint her mom, Abigail tries to hide it. Breakfast. One egg, one banana, one tub low fat yogurt. 40 minutes cardio, 50 minutes Pilates. One hour warm up, loosen ITB, lengthen quads, strengthen feet. So I like routine. I like pushing myself. I like the plan I made with mum when I was seven, to be the best. Zach, I have my dentist appointment. <laughs> because there's nothing worse than being ordinary. Girl, new schedule. I don't like change. I don't like deviating from the plan. No, no, no. No more daytime rehearsals. I told you this can't interfere with ballet. Okay, okay, just come on, Mum. But I like this feeling. Hey, we're gonna have to get you some multivitamins, baby. What are you doing here? Where's Paige? Paige is in Brisbane with your father, but I'm here now, standing by to do whatever you need between now and the Nationals. <laughs> Where are we going? Nowhere. Just to the chemist. Oh. I thought you were doing Cupid, Don Quixote. No, Zach made me change it last week. Oh, darling, you can get your leg high in the Entourance Ops, Donna. You tell her, Mrs Armstrong. 
That's always a problem in the on to non ups to non no. Mum, meet Grace. She's damaged on account of her dad never having any time for her. Oh, nice to meet you. You don't have that problem, do you, sweetheart? I mean, I know I haven't been around much, but you're eating. Not too much, but enough. I'm fine. Okay. Good. Then you can cope with me telling you that this solo is not doing you justice. Unlike your Helen Keller. People still stop me in the street about your interpretation. Blind, deaf, mute. Poor, poor girl. No. Just the Academy already proved this variation. Yes. Like... But your Helen Keller won you the Sunshine Coast Regional of Stedford. And it will win you the Nationals at the Prix de Fontaine. Kat, I need your help. Mum's had me doing Helen Keller since 6am. <coughs> oh, that solo gives me nightmares. Not to mention your mother. So, uh, what is it that you need? She's gone back to the motel, but she'll be here any minute. I have to go meet someone, so can you please... In the name of love, I will distract her. Mini, mini, ma, mini, mini, ma, 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 ma. <coughs> Abigail? I'm sorry I missed yesterday. Just... You look like you should be in bed. No, this is where I want to be. Mini, mini, ma, mini, mini, ma, mini, mini, ma, ma, It doesn't take long for Abigail's plans to be found out, and oh, Anthea's response is you not a good one. Training sessions like Abigail. Oh, um, I have to go bury this under an oak tree for twelve hours. Well, you know how Abigail is. She's just she's so much more dedicated than everyone else here. It's always cardio this or Pilates that, and training, and more training and. And rehearsals for review, a new independent musical. Well, that's a curveball. I only want you to say the words today, okay? Don't try to sing. Come up, up. <coughs> so, Mia, why would you like to be in our review? To look at me, you'd think I'm just the sum of all my parts. A nameless face that moves through space to move other people's hearts. But listen through me. See into me, this is where it starts. Let me have a voice. Let me speak and be heard. Let my spirit be stirred with each perfect word. It's my choice. Oh, Abigail, that was extraordinary. It sets us up so I'm sorry beautiful. to interrupt, but Abigail has training. I'm Finn, director of the show. You must be Abigail's mum. Yes. Good luck. Nice to meet you, Finn. Now. The arabesque and entouron is too low. Get your leg higher. Higher? It's on Tunong on Dayor, Mum. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be at 45 degrees. Really? I've been teaching ballet since before you were born. Well, you've been teaching it wrong. No one notices in your garage studio, but this is the National Academy. This isn't some little regional estate for this is the priest. I'm not doing this dance. Darling, you're just tired and you are run down. No doubt from rehearsing that ridiculous musical. It's not ridiculous. And it makes me happy. I know what makes you happy. I have sacrificed everything for your happiness. Mum, thank you so much for coming up. But I don't need you here right now. Oh. So go home and I'll... Just go home and I'll call you in a few days. Mum. There is no home. Your father's selling the house. Paige wants to live with him. What? Why wouldn't anybody tell me this? Because you're busy with your training and the nationals. Oh, 
I'm... You're all right. I am. I'm out of my depth. No, I was just saying that because I'm tired. I'm sorry. I want you to stay, OK? Really? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you coming? Oh, come on. Let's do it again. Just from the middle. <coughs> Try not to cough. Let's go again. In the end, Abigail pushes back against her controlling dance mum and chooses her own path. How do you think? But it has a massive hey. impact on Anthea. I wouldn't worry about those judges. They'll be eating their scorecards when you win the international. Have you thought about where you want your scholarship to be? No, I um, I want to jinx myself. I've always thought. Picture New York. We'll get an apartment near Lincoln Center. You'll be in the company by the time you're 18. And soloist by 21. Principal by the time you're 24. Oh, it's all gonna happen for you, sweetheart. Don't tell me there's a boy lurking when we're off to New York. Break an eyelash, Finn and Misty. Who's that? Oh, those musical theatre people. How sweet. Right. Mum? Mm hmm? I have to go. Sit down, please. We have to get your makeup done. Come on. Right. Here we go. No, no. Mum. I know how much you want this. And you could be right, I might win the pre. But I might not. Things, I don't care either way. Sweetheart, it's just the nerves talking. Just relax. No, Mum, listen. I'm not dancing today. I can't breathe. Oh, don't. I can't breathe. Mum, I can't be responsible for making you breathe. That's not my job. Sweetheart. After Sammy's death, Anthea steps up to support her daughter emotionally. Ten leotards should cover a six-week tour. I'm sure they'll have a laundry service. You're packing already? What, you don't think I'm better than the third years? Of course I do. It's just that you've had a big knock, sweetheart. Maybe right now you should be... Slobbing on the bathroom tiles. History dictates you should be pleased I have my priorities back in order, Mother. Problem? Yes. Everyone wants to talk about how amazing he was, but he wasn't. He was indescribably terrible. And then he kissed me. And then he died. Sweetheart. No, 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 no. Abigail's mum cares a lot about her daughter, and she wants her to do well. And perhaps she was onto something, because Abigail and Ollie, the two most competitive dancers at the school, were the only ones to get company contracts. But I'm not sure that teaching your daughter to be so competitive that she would sabotage others' costumes is the best way to go about it. What do you think? Is Abigail's mum a classic dance mum archetype? Let us know down in the comments, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week on the Dance Academy YouTube channel.